Hey guys, welcome to the service now word and today we'll discuss how to delete work notes or comments from our record. Sometimes we have a situation like when we are working as a service now developer or a service now admin, we came across situation like where we have to delete the work notes or comments and sub and we are just uh, deleting from the this like sys general feed and we have found that like uh, it's it's not getting deleted from the actual record so how we'll do that that we'll see today so for use case we'll take a incident record and there firstly we'll create a work notes and then we'll try to delete it so let me open a incident list and then from there where from there we will open the incident record So you see that like uh, I have opened this incident list and from there I have opened one of the incident record. Let's say this one. Okay. So this is the incident record which I have opened. Uh, there let's let me update the some kind of work note like this work notes updated by me. I just simply I'll just save it. Okay. And now what we'll do, firstly we have to find, we know that like whatever the work notes or comments we are up near updating it here, that will not give, that, that will not saved into this incident table, that will get saved into the sys general table. So there we'll go and find that entry. Okay. So just, I'll just, let me from here, not from, yes, from here. I'll type sys journal underscore field dot filter and for finding all the work notes and comments related to this incident record we have to copy their sys id okay after copying their sys id in journal entries table here we'll just put the filter element id in element id we just put the incident sys id that we have copied it earlier and just run it okay you see that like uh, these two entries we have got this and all those all both of them are work notes right if you see here there are two work notes are there like this one previously one and this one is uh, updated by me recently right this work notes updated by and the agenda is that like we have to delete this one okay so what we need to do, here just simply delete it from here. Okay, so we have deleted, right? Now if we refresh it, you will see that like it's haven't got deleted, it's still showing it here. Why? Because we haven't deleted their audit, uh, audit entry. Okay, so we have to open their audit entry as well. So for that, we have to go to the table sys underscore audit dot filter. If you put filter in a cap in capital letters and press enter, it will open a new tab. Okay, and there just put the filter like document key. In document key also just put the incident sys ID. I'll just run it and you see that like I have found this entry right this you see that this work notes updated by me if we delete this we have deleted so till now we have deleted their journal entry and we have deleted their audit entry okay and now we can refresh in and see there whether And we are seeing that this work notes is still showing. It's not getting deleted. Why? Because we have to delete one more entry that is record history. Okay. So once we delete the record history, so after that we'll when we refresh this form, we'll see that like uh, this will get uh, this will uh, the record the record history will get rebuilt, and that time this entry will not be there. So there we have to just go to the table. 
record history table so that table name is sys underscore history underscore set dot filter and there we'll put the like document key it, no not document it's a id so in id we'll put the incident sys id again okay run it and you will find that one entry here this record history right just simply delete it okay once you delete it and now if you see that currently we haven't refreshed the form till now we have see this we are seeing this work note right let me refresh it now we'll check it again after refreshing and you see that like their work notes got deleted right so like that we have to delete the work notes and same applicable for comments as well so what we have no, what we have to do so it's a like uh, three three steps are there firstly like whatever the work notes is there just firstly delete it from the journal entry okay once you delete from the journal entry second you have to delete their audit entry okay then after that you have to delete from the record history and after deleting the record history once you refresh this form you see that like if i refresh this again their record history will again rebuild it and and after once it will get rebuilt so we'll see that like that work notes got deleted right so same for applicable as well so i hope you got it and if you still have any doubt please write in the comment box and i'll i'll, I'll respond it till that time thank you god bless you all